What is your secret to working hard during the week? Probably making the most of the weekend. Probably. The best things to see, to do, and to eat in Korea on the weekends. We got it all for you on. What's up, weekend? With Alex. It's a Friday. This week has been the longest for me personally, so I'm glad to see Alex's beautiful, pretty face sitting next Aww. to me. It signifies I'm nearly at the end of it. Good morning, Alex. Good morning. I'm happy to bookmark the end of your week, I guess. <laughs> yes, you are the bookend to this incredibly long week. I don't know why, but everything. As a freelancer, do you experience this? Like sometimes it's incredibly quiet, so you're very free one week. And then suddenly, for some reason, we say this about London buses. They all come at once. Yep. And like you just get ridiculous schedules. I even had to turn down one voice thing because they asked me to come in after I'd worked the whole day at 11 p.m. I was like, who records at 11 p.m.? What? Yeah, I was like, well, what do you mean? You're just pulling my leg. You're just making it worse because you know I'm having a bad week. So I said no. So I'm this not week recording. you're busy? The, until today. Today is like the come down and I feel like... Oh. You know what's crazy? What? I have not had any work until today. This is my first job. This well, week? Let me put it this way. Okay. Outside of my home. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? I haven't left home. How come? Don't you usually have gives you outside? Oh, have you got something later today? Yeah. Well, no. I, uh, one show that I do, mm -hmm. we, I call in now. Oh, really? Because yeah. of COVID? Yeah. Is that, oh, wow. Have they gone that strict about things? Right. Yeah. <gasps> so it's, it depends on where, but like, um, yeah. Wow! So I this haven't is your left first the time. house. Like, <laughs> I went out to get like bananas. Uh huh. Like that's so lame, but some sustenance at least. And when I go outside, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> this is what air smells like. Yay! I'm in the outdoors again. <laughs> it so bad. Definitely is quieter in Seoul. Like, I'm so glad to see that because until it was 2.5, I think the streets were still relatively busy. I don't think people cared at two. Yeah. No one cared at level two. This is true. But 2.5, because we're nearly at three now where it's a proper lockdown. I've seen uh, less people on the streets. And because everything closes at nine at that time, yeah. there's hardly anyone out, which is great for Corona, obviously. Yeah. And I've been doing OK with my downtime. Like, mm -hmm. I've been. It's weird, though, because I am like ignoring people, <laughs> not ignoring them, like not responding to them. But I'm just like, no, I. Hey, do you want to meet up? And like, what? Yeah, I know. What? I, I'm a bit confused. There was an end of year gathering as well. But luckily, I was part of that group and I was like, I can't come. You know, we can't do this because yeah. of COVID. And then they recently pushed it back until at least January. And I was like, that's sensible. Yeah. Well, it's almost like we have to be the first ones to do it because I just tell people like, well, besides this week, I'm like, you know, I meet like 20, 30 people a week. Like, <laughs> I'm the last person you should invite. Yes, and, and if you spread it at all these stations, you're going to be infamous. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I worry about a lot too. Uh, today's hashtag, Alex, sleep yes. or mm -hmm. chum. Are you a good sleeper? Normally. Uh -huh. So, yes, except for last night. Oh, no. Did you not get much sleep last night? Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. Uh huh. I had to finish... Hotel Del Luna. Oh, wow. I had to finish it. Are you serious? Have you finished it already? <laughs> I finished it, yeah. Is it a good ending? Satisfying? Um, I've never loved a Korean drama ending. It's hard to find any drama for me no. where I'm completely satisfied. I'll tell yeah. you what, it was one of the better endings. Okay. But I still left a little disappointed, uh -huh. um, but not terribly. Like, you know, sometimes you have a bad ending and you're like, I'm not even going to recommend the show to anybody. <laughs> but I still like the show. I liked most of it. Um, okay. I enjoy myself a good little cry and Hotel de Luna is pretty good. Oh, nice. I love a good cry it as is. well. That tells you that it was a good drama. Yeah. Oh, no. It's definitely, like I said, the ending's not my favorite. It's still like maybe top two, if not my favorite. <gasps> top three it's wow, top three that's amazing i'm pretty basic mm -hmm. so you know my top three are probably like hotel de luna um my love from a star and mm -hmm. uh what was the other one? Oh, the, reply no. oh replies up there too no i would put reply like at four or five okay it was the sky castle i like sky castle oh wow that was a lot of uh action in there a lot of looking at rich people and the, and, the terrible things they can do <laughs> and you know what of all those i just said the top my top five dramas including 88 and 94 mm -hmm. uh never loved any of the endings 
Oh, yeah. I, I love it until the episode before, usually. <laughs> yeah, that's because the build-up is the best. As, as with many yeah. things, the journey is the fun part. Yeah. It's not actually the destination. But uh, anyway, that's why I got about like four hours of sleep, <laughs> which is fine because the rest of the week I'm getting great sleep. Okay. On to today's topic. And link to today it oh, is yes. uh, the punishment from last week because we both lost oh or both won, I guess you could say. We've got your tangerine stuffing into your mouth video. Yes. And uh, we're going to see who's won this, okay? We don't know yet. Let's see how many tangerines you've got in your mouth, Alex. Oh, Here boy. goes. All right, Peter. Um, All right, Peter. Yep. I, I killed three and a half. Cause when wow, that's I'm ambitious. Back, so. Three and a half? I didn't know. How big is your mouth, or how small are these tangerines? Right They're not big. Let's put them up in the thirds or quarters. Ready? Okay. All right. And you can't chew first. No, 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 no chewing. You can't get the juice out of it. That's cheating. You're doing like the hamster um, way. I am them a in hamster. Your little what are you pockets. talking about? <laughs> That's how you start, and then eventually in the middle. It is dangerous. I'd actually recommend not trying this at home. Yeah, do not try it at home. Uh, I changed my mind after <laughs> doing this. H how many is that then? Uh, I'll explain it. It but... looks pretty full. So I think this is the second one. And, and so you don't want to do this at home because when you push it in, I felt yeah. that I would gag. So, right. yeah, that's why I do not do this at home. So this is two and then too many... 2.2 two two tangerines. Now, I have to say something about this, though. <laughs> and then you ate them. Uh, huh? Amazing. I thought you were supposed to eat them. I think you are. Okay, oh. so here's the, here's the thing. Before mm -hmm. I see your video, wow. I... As soon as I turned off the camera, yeah. I decided to eat over the sink because juice started... Yes. But... The two extra mini pieces that I put in yeah. fell out. Oh, okay. So you're if you're talking about that. how much you put in, it yeah. was two and then two little pieces. Uh huh. But how much I ended up eating was just two. exactly two. I thought I could do more than two as well. Here's my video. I had to take it in the song break because I forgot to do this in advance. So I'm <laughs> outside. for the punishment. You have three. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's ambitious too. So I just put one hole mm. there. Oh, you put the whole thing. And in. a hole in the. Oh I my tried gosh. To put it in the other side. That's a mm, huge cool. mouth. Yeah, oh. and then that, oh. uh, that was half, but I got one segment mm -mm. in, mm -mm. so two point mm -mm. one. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, mm. but <laughs> are you eating? You can't be. I couldn't eat because oh. I realized the juice was going to go everywhere in our communal area, and I felt bad. So <laughs> I will admit I had to spit them all out. I feel like in honor of it, like is that like a tie then? <laughs> no, you win because you ate the, the win. two, right. and you got two point two in your mouth. Well done. And that's a great segue it into is. It today. It fits perfectly. Because we're going to do things you can do on Jejudo Island. Right. As opposed to markets last week. Experiences. Okay. And I have the perfect experience. I didn't Ooh. do this this time. I didn't go all the way to Jeju to pick those tangerines. But you can do that. Stuff in your face with mm -hmm. fresh tangerines. Yeah. So this is the experience that I want to introduce to you. Because Jejudo is famous for its citrus fruits, yes. especially kul tangerines and the halabong which is some kind of mutant orange with a little hat on mm. top, I like to describe it. Yeah, yeah. Although the pieces, unlike an orange, you can kind of eat them like a tangerine one at a time and they still taste great. Mm. Oranges, I don't like eating them like that. Mm. Like I've got to cut them with the skin on and suck out the juice. Anyway, <laughs> you can do either. And I think when I did this, it has been a minute. I think it was 2003 three or four when i did this it's a very long minute yes a very, it's a long, very minute. long minute when i wasn't living here i had uh, just come out here for six months testing the waters after graduating and we went with a friend's family my mum was there as well mm -hmm. and i think we went to a halabong farm actually oh which is a little more rare than the tangerine farms yeah. which are much more common and so it's like in the West, and I'm sure many other countries, pick your own, mm -hmm. right? Um, and that's a big thing in the UK for strawberries, maybe blackberries as well, right, yep. sometimes corn. But here in Korea, apart from strawberries, I've not really seen it on the mainland that much. No. But tangerines down in Jejdo Island, it's a must-do thing. Um, and you pay your entrance fee into the tangerine farm, and then what they do is they'll give you in our case, it was kind of a crate because there were many of us. Mm -hmm. They were like, fill that crate up. And also, you can eat as many as you want while you're picking them. And as long as you can fit it in your mouth. <laughs> yes. And you're not you allowed... one bite. <laughs> you're not allowed to waste them. Yeah. Right. They, they don't challenge you like that. Like, you can only yeah, eat yeah. what you can fit in one mouthful. That would be brilliant, though. Uh, unsafe as well. I, as I recall, I think you had to... Didn't you have to, like 
keep the skin though because you couldn't put the skin in the ground because it was acidic or something yeah you're not meant to make a mess there and yeah. you're right yeah it's not good for fertilizing the soil like some peels i think are good for the soil but not tangerines mm. yeah if you chew into a tangerine peel it doesn't taste very nice actually it it's wonderful though because there's just this wonderful color of tangerines yeah. on all the trees you know they had they had us have the skin though i feel like they dried the they gave us dried skin or something oh. but they had us eat the skin when we went before really not from the tree not like straight from okay. it but like separately maybe it was like yeah it was like dried or something wow um so yeah i'm looking at the cost currently because that was a long time ago when i went and uh you could get in for about five thousand won per person which includes admission tools and a kilogram of what? tangerines that is incredibly cheap isn't it i'm looking at one site here uh i'm it's trying no to look way. exactly when the date is on this i don't want it to be too outdated doesn't say um, but there are so many tangerine farms out there i don't want to recommend just one there are some where there's more english speaking mm. as well i actually you know i have i ended up buying the whole crate right like uh -huh. two weeks ago or one week ago i have the whole crate of tangerines from i think from jeju right oh nice just i but i live by myself so it's really hard to get through <laughs> you need to do more of these challenges i suppose alex <laughs> uh we'll talk a little bit more about this in part two we'll get alex's uh suggestion for what you should do on jeju island this is taeon the blue knight of jeju island jeju do air purumbam we're back for part two of What's Up Weekend with Alex. What's ha up? Having our challenge with What's Jejido up? Island. What's up? What's up? What's yeah, cracking? the punishment this week is... Um, <clears throat> eating a whole kilo Going to Jeju and bringing back a whole kilo of tangerines. There you that, go. That would be lovely. And yeah, the great thing is, though, you pick those tangerines, as many as you want, and then they'll often ship them for you separately. Right. We mentioned that last week. Like, you can buy them and do that, or you can pick them and do that, and then you don't have to worry about squeezing it into your luggage or anything. Yes. Uh, a couple of messages. Steve Fong's on board saying, I think I heard Johnny talk about tangerine picking on Wonders of Jeju. I'm sure on that show they must have talked about it a yeah. lot because it is such a popular activity. The reason you should perhaps vote for it today, it's representative of uh, Jejido Island. Actually, mine is pretty representative of Jejido as well. It is to true. To be fair. Yes. Siska <laughs> uh, says, and I want to do tangerine picking, especially in Jeju. You will... Again, after my activity. Um, there, Siska says, tangerine picking, is it usually in a certain month, Peter? November, because I know strawberry pricking is around the springtime. Yes, yeah, strawberry pricking, picking, I think, starts maybe around January from like winter to spring. Because they got those like uh, greenhouses usually go into. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can do it all year round at some places. For the tangerines, they don't have massive farms with greenhouses over the no, trees, yeah. as far as I'm aware. I don't know how seasonal it is, though, because a lot of the time they tell you to come whenever. But I'm looking at a chart mm -hmm. here from one place in particular, and there are some different species you can get. Not just the tangerine cues, but hwanggumhyang. It's like a gold orange. The mm. halabongs we talked about earlier I don't know if those exist anywhere else. I've never seen them. Mm. Uh, Chane hangs, maybe some kind of mandarin, and then a kara hang. The seasons overlap, so you go from about October to May. So it's only really the summer months where mm -hmm. you can't pick them, it seems. I went in early December, and I just uh -huh. got the regular tangerines. That's when they really start coming into the supermarkets quite cheap yeah, again, yeah. right? Around December, November. So that's probably the best time to go. And the pricing, I've looked it up again. It is that cheap. Apparently, at some farms, 2,000 won per kilo of tangerine. My gosh. What are we doing? What a deal, right? Why do we live here? <laughs> we should just move the entire Arirang studio to Jeju. How much was your box of tangerines, do you think, roughly? Uh, 13,000 won 13, for a couple of kilograms. For a couple of kilos. And that might cost you maybe four, or 5,000 if you pick yeah. them yourself. There is a separate entrance fee, which is only 1,500 won, so about a dollar and a few nickels, or whatever you call them. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> nickels? Do we even use what, nickels anymore? I don't know what that means. I just, I just Five said cents. it. There, <laughs> there we go. And so my activity, cost-effective, nutritious, with all that vitamin C... And if you don't like cures, you can try all those other species that I just mentioned. I have to say, I think my favourite is maybe the Hwanggum Hang, that kind of 
gold orange、mm. or the halabong. I do like that because that's、halibong、a meaty kind of fruit. Halabong surprisingly good, right? Because、yeah. the first time I saw it, I'm like, this looks weird. It,、yeah. it feels like there's a pimple on the top of it. <laughs> Absolutely. And then you eat it and like, oh, I like it. It's like a big tangerine because the pieces are kind of the same, but when you bite into it, the texture is slightly different and the taste、mm. is slightly different. I love it. And so these are located all over the island. So getting to it is convenient. Great. Doing it's convenient. Are you done yet? Are you done yet? And Alex's, you know,、oh, I don't know if I would describe it as convenient. What are you going to do for us today, Alex? What are we doing on Jeju Island? So, we're going to do something that's not only healthy and it's good to, you know, enjoy the food, the fruits of your labor,、uh-huh. but it includes a good little exercise because we're going to do the Henyo experience.、Oh. Henyo experience. Henya, I learned about in geography class in the UK. You know? Really? Yeah, even when I was young, we were talking about it. The, the, the lady divers、yes. who don't have any oxygen on their backs. Yes. It's amazing. You literally just dive into the ocean、mm-hmm. and you get the abalone or the conch shells from the bottom,、mm-hmm. hold your breath, and then bring it back up, and then create yourself a nice little. Seafood meal when you get up, or sell it to you know the markets like they used to do. So, this is a, a, a really respected tradition here in Jeju Island, unique to there, right? And it's lots of h o m a n i e s grandma's doing it now, unfortunately. Well, yes, they're the ones that do it, and they're also the ones that often run these experience programs. Although,、mm-hmm. to my recollection, there is a very famous young Henyo、oh. who's like a I'll call it a Henyo celebrity. Like, she's not like <laughs> K pop famous. No. But she's、uh, known for being a younger Henyo because it is more common now. Wow. Because the younger people, they've moved to the city. They don't want to do hard labor.、Mm-hmm. But it's a really cool experience because it's basically like scoop or snorkeling for food. <laughs> snorkeling for food without, we must add, a snorkel, right? These ladies often just go down with the kind of、yeah. goggle things. Yeah. Basically. And so, what's amazing about this is, of course, it's really difficult and they hold their breath for a long time. And that's kind of what it is. It's a UNESCO、uh, intangible heritage. Wow. Cultural intangible heritage. Because what they can do is be down there for minutes at a time,、mm-hmm. chipping away at the conch shells or whatever, which is really hard to do. Yeah. Okay, I'm making it sound like it's a lot of work. Yes, this doesn't sound like a good leisure activity. No, but <laughs> once you do it, you get to. You actually go and get your own food down there.、Mm-hmm. So, okay, let me, let's me, l e t explain what exactly goes on for the experience. You have about five to six people per henyo, per woman who's going to take you down、mm-hmm. to the ocean bottom.、Uh, and it's not easy to get it, but what you'll do is you'll get all your equipment. So, you've got your round shaped diver's goggles. Yeah, the big old school ones. There's no split、yeah. in the middle for each eye. Yeah.、Uh, if Usually, you wear your own stuff, but if you were to go full Henyo, you、mm-hmm. would have the bottoms called a Mul, Sol, Mul Soljungi、uh-huh. or a Mul Joksam because you have a bottom and a top and the hat, which is the little swimming cap that they have that goes with them. It's like a big wetsuit kind of thing, right? Basically, a wetsuit. And you get your own little Tewak.、Mm-hmm. The Tewak is、uh, the tube that, like, that's used for floating. You know, if you've ever seen it, they have like a. Now they use styrofoam where like the、uh-huh. ball kind of tells you where the Henyo is diving. Sure. Uh, and then you can also kind of put the food in like the net part of that. Yeah. To, to keep it fresh. Yeah, and it's usually shells, so it's not going to swim or, or climb out or anything. <laughs> exactly. So then you go down, you come out、uh, into the water, you swim for a bit, about an hour and a half, which is great because you're in the ocean. It's again, like I said, it's a bit like a snorkeling experience.、Mm-hmm. You. Because even when you snorkel, you don't breathe underwater. Sure. You just kind of go down and, you know, about five. Six meters、mm-hmm. max. Yeah.、Uh, if you're good,、mm-hmm. I think that's the most. I think I've been around five or six meters. Oh, wow. When snorkeling. When snorkeling, <gasps> yeah. Which is, I love snorkeling. I love going underwater and just kind of seeing the fish. So for me, this is actually a really fun activity. I would honestly, as much as I've made it sound like work, <laughs> I would prefer this to orange picking. And I can say that with confidence this week. Okay. Because once you're done with that, you then bring up the food. And you cook it. You have a nice seafood meal that goes along with it. You have abalone, you have、uh, clams. They prepare extra food for you as well.、Oh. So you pay for an hour and a half of swimming、mm-hmm. and stretching and all that stuff. And then you get the food. And how much is that setting you back?、Uh, <laughs> it's not about the money. <laughs> it's not about the money, but it can cost you a little over around 30 US dollars or around 3,500. 
Korean won. There are yeah. 35,000 Korean won. There is a lot more that they're doing here because the tangerine farms, they just let you in, right? Yeah, and yeah. And then you just go and pick. You do sometimes have those little uh, scissors. I can't remember what you call them, but you can cut off the tangerines. Yeah. And that's about it. But here, someone's teaching you like how to breathe, how to stretch. It's not easy as well. Do you no. remember our mutual friend, Jesse Day, who yep. used to be on this show, actually? He did it and he said it was tough because you go under... And then you go quite a few meters under to yeah. get to the bottom and you can feel claustrophobic, you know, mm -hmm. oh, and you yeah. really respect what they do. So it's not necessarily the easiest thing, but it's a good challenge. And, and you respect these ladies so yeah. much. Yeah, well, Depending on how far you go down, you have to pop your ears as you go down. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that was actually the first first time I did that. It was so painful Yeah, to try and go down deep past two or three meters. Mm -hmm. So you have to either... I there's two ways to do it. You either unhinge your jaw by kind of like moving it back and forth. Yeah. Or uh, some people like plug their nose and blow oh, out. Oh, okay. Each and then person's pop their different. Ears. Yeah. Okay. I couldn't do that. Like I was in pain trying uh -huh. to do that. And I came up and he said, oh, just do the other method. I'm like, okay. So you get to go down there. And then after that, if you do want, they do have the Jeju um, Henyo Museum, which is actually really amazing. They have a couple of different exhibits. You can see they have actual interviews mm -hmm. with the Henyols. Yeah. Uh, which I actually got to do an, an interview with the Henyo wow. before. And that was really cool to talk with her because she was just coming out from the water. Uh -huh. uh, and not like right, right after. <laughs> uh, and was just telling us about the differences between like back then and now. Mm -hmm. And there's still a large community of them that are still out there going. So, um, you know, learn about the history and lifestyle of the Henyo and Jeju. Uh, there's an old house in the museum. You can see how they used to live. Although, you know, you can see how they live now, too. You can actually walk through the neighborhoods where henyols are. Sure. It, it is, unfortunately, a dying breed because mm. youngsters these days, they don't want to do that, right? Hard Not for a labor. Job. Yeah. I mean, I just... I don't either. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. Uh, and so this is a good way to actually support that community, yeah. I think. You know, they make money through doing these experiences, I'm just right? saying, it's so... It is very meaningful. Mm -hmm. And if I were to pick the perfect day, yeah. like the pick activities... I would start doing the Henyo experience, get, you know, work through it, mm -hmm. require a lot of energy, and then go pick the tangerines. For dessert. Perfect yeah. dessert. It'd yeah. be a really good way to kind of like rebuild a little bit of the energy you lost. And that being said, I would still vote for number two, Alex Henyo. All right. So those are the choices. Number one, going underwater, picking your seafood. Or number two, staying on dry land, nice and safe, picking some tangerines. That's Who number one. Who wants to be safe? My choice. Wow, it's okay? like such a dad. <laughs> That's be my dad attitude. <laughs> uh, keep your votes coming in from now and we'll start counting them up. We'll come up with a punishment. Any suggestions from you guys as well? We'd welcome those. This one is Dolphin. Not sure how many of those you'll see in the Jejido seats. Maybe by Oh My Girl. We're back for part. Part two of What's Up Weekend What's with up? Alex in the studio battling experiences on Jeju Do Island. In fact, we're battling two things you can pick, seafood shells yes. or tangerines. And uh, it must be said, those henya as well, they sometimes on the coastline of Jeju Do Island, they'll go and pick the shells and they'll sell it fresh, like raw, for you to come and eat. My yeah. mum and dad loved that when we went down to Jeju. Mm -hmm. You can eat those weird like sea squirts. I think they're called monge in Korean. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan, but a Apparently, if you like that taste, it just tastes like the sea, like yeah. so fresh. Yeah, it is good. Uh, so we've, we're bigging up the other people now because I can big up yours too. Uh, that's the thing. That was an accident. That was totally unintended. I'm going to count up the votes. You got a couple of messages to I read do. out. There. Steve Fong says there's a popular novel out called Island of Sea Woman by Lisa C S E E about the Henyo. Oh. I've not read that. Okay, maybe you will. Steve also says, I will vote number two for Alex for the Henyo experience, which has the museum. My man. And is close to Sunrise Peak. Oh, what's that called? Songsan Uchibong, mm -hmm. I believe. Well done, Steve. Well, not well done, actually, but anyway. Uh, Nur <laughs> says, I love the ocean, but diving, not really my thing. Mm -hmm. I can't do this because uh, I don't know how to swim. If I knew how to swim, though, I'd sure do Alex's suggestion. Wait, is that a vote for me? What is what? Who, it's not it? an official vote. It's Nur. Oh, uh, saying it's, it's she not would vote. vote for you. Uh, we'll need an official number one if you want to vote for me. No, Nur. you need number two. For if you me. want to vote for Alex, yes. When you want to vote for me. Of course, we are fair. Uh, Raul saying, I vote for Alex because this is a once in a lifetime it experience. Is. It really is. I might agree with that sentiment, but you still can vote for me. 
I mean, <laughs> why would you want to vote for just something you're going to do once? Vote for something you're going to do multiple well, times in well, your life. Leon's vote is number two, it looks like, as he said earlier. Okay, just eat and visit the museum. No need to swim. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah okay. That's what he said. Yeah, I'll he said, it. I'll vote for Alex, even though I think I will actually go picking tangerines when I'm in Cheju in man. the future. Brian Coe with a good tip. One trick when you're diving down low and your ears pop is to clear your ears before you start, before mm. you go underwater. Oh, does that work if you do it in advance? You probably can. There's, I, I remember the one thing about it is everyone had their own technique, mm-hmm. uh, but that does sound like it works. Wow. Uh, Aim Lita says... I am not a good swimmer. I can do rock swimming. Uh, so I don't know who to vote for. Rock swimming. Is that where you go? I've seen people like on the ground. Pools, maybe? Like you pull yourself on the ground oh, via that. That might be it. I don't underneath know. Underneath the water. Uh, we got more. We got lots of them today. Amelita has, though, said, yeah, vote number one for Peter. The reason, because I can't swim. Oh, so I choose this... picking tangerines. I've got the market on people who can't swim here, I feel. that's Is that basically what we're voting on now? Uh, Tan- Tropic Girl says tangerine picking sounds fun. Then you can make juice. You could. I guess so. You could do whatever you wanted I with those love tra- citrus, tangerines. Citrus scents, candle sprays, body products. I wonder if tangerine scented Korean made products are available. I've never seen it. There must be a tangerine candle, but I've never seen one in Korea. No, I haven't. The tangerine chocolates are super popular. Oh, those are so good. Yeah, I you had can one recently. Binge oh. on them, can't you? Like, I love buying those uh, old. Hadaboji, Grandpa, Halabong chocolates. Those shaped ones, yeah, yeah. in that mold. Oh, they're so the, good. The volcano like, grandpas. That's the first time I learned that cactus went good with chocolate. I didn't know cactus was even a flavor. I didn't know it was a, I didn't know it was a thing. Yeah, until I went to Jejido, and they've got the aloe vera flavored chocolates as well, the aloe, and that tastes nice as well. Unbelievable stuff. It's very close at the moment. Oh, have you gotten the votes from here yet? I haven't checked on VLive. I'm okay. still coming down here on the uh, website. Well, I'll just read them out as we're going through it, and then we got to pick each other up, right? Okay. we got to do it. Uh, we got to vote for Blackpink. Oh, wait, no, that's just <laughs> someone writing down Blackpink. Mama uh, Wolf says, I'm not a fan of seafood, but I love tangerines, so my vote is going to King Peter. Yeah, it looks like it. That's good uh, stuff. Okay. Uh-uh. Yeah, and, and she voted here too, so not double counting the votes. All right, just once. I promise I won't cheat, Alex. Don't so cheat. can I pick up your one first? Of course. Because I really agree with Raoul here in the sense that this is not something you're going to come across often. Like picking tangerines, I'm sure you must be able to mm. do somewhere else in the world. I mean, not in the UK. We don't really have tangerine yeah, trees. But Henya and learning about that and doing that experience is so unique to mm. Jejido Island that you are going to have to do it here. There's no yeah. other place you can do it. You never know, too, if like if it goes away once they have no one to teach it anymore, right? That is the sad part of this. Like you said, there's maybe one or two famous youngsters, but that's not the trend. And I'm worried yeah. that in a few decades it will be a lost art because yeah, maybe we'll have robots who pick our seafood much more cheaply and stuff like that's that. That's true. Or we grow it in like a swimming pool inside with salt water. What you know? Oh my goodness, that is the future, isn't it? And, I hope uh, not. Uh, Jason from the US says Ocean Challenge sounds unique and special number two that's exactly what I'm saying Hartley though says although I admire the divers and love the videos of them I'm too afraid of deep water to mm-hmm. do that so I'm picking tangerines alright I'll explain my my big up of the tangerines is there's nothing like after a long walk like doing the Ole Guild trails mm-hmm. or even doing a little hiking yep. and you're starving and oh. you go there and you just kind of eat this sweet fruit to your heart's content. You gorge on it, yes. Oh my gosh. I love, I remember it tasted so good right from the tree. Yeah, it is true. It's so fresh, so sweet. Yeah. You will sometimes get some less sweet ones because you yeah. can't guarantee that, of course. Um, but it is delicious. In terms of a punishment, Alex, yes. you thought of one. I was thinking, uh, why don't we do something related to holding our breath? Mm-hmm. And we have a couple of options. Yep. So we need to figure this one out. Do we either A, do a video at home and just, you know, like plug your nose and just kind of see. I think we can go for like 90 seconds. It might make a boring video. Wow. We might have to speed it up, I suppose. We can do that. So a sped up video and uh, checking the time. Mm-hmm. Option number two is we do our breath holding live on air, but uh-huh. to... The goal is, like, we'll make one minute the goal. Mm-hmm. And so the other person has can try to make them laugh. Because I think you and I could both do about a minute and 15 or something. Yeah, I reckon. So the other person, you got to make them laugh. And, like, that's the challenge. Okay, is trying to get them to not make one minute. that as well. So a minute holding your breath on air. 
Wait, so what's the punishment there? Do we do both it's do painful it? painful to hold your breath for as long as you want. No, no, no. I mean, one so person. just the loser. Just the loser. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm up for that one. Tell yeah. us if you're up for the other. You just want to see us hold our breath at home. That's but interesting. But if you do it here, we could, like, our face could turn red. If you do it at home. Yeah. I've been, I was really, I feel like I've done more than a minute 30. Wow. But your face can go, like, <laughs> purple. That's pretty interesting. Uh, Sophie and Cam Cam, don't worry, your votes have been counted. You've got about 10, 15 seconds, listeners, to keep uh, going. Uh, Maria Archelai says, love both the options you've presented, so just both do the punishment. <laughs> uh, Maria, we need your votes because it's very close. Uh, number one for tangerines, number two for seafood and henya. Here we go. Henya literally meaning, I guess, isn't that like sea lady or something like that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, perhaps. sea um, girl, right? Yeah. Um, I'm looking on YouTube. We're going to play the drum roll and we'll close the voting at the end of it. And today, the winner is by a very close margin. At last, we've got a winner. And I'm Finally. grateful to say Not it's number grateful. one. It's oh, come Peter. on, everyone. It's come tangerines. On, everybody. I'm sorry. You were at a disadvantage because anyone who doesn't like seafood and can't swim. It's not going to choose your option. And there are many people that say, I don't like tangerines. Yeah, there aren't many people that say that. They may not love that. them, but they, yeah. no one's like, it makes me sick. Or I'm afraid of trees. Afraid of trees. Yes. <laughs> well, sometimes. You never know. Depends. Uh, if you're watching Wizard of Oz or something. Oh. Wait a sec. What? I counted two of those already, but Viviana and Anicolo would have made it just one vote between us. Right. But you guys, you, you have to be on board to, earlier. Yeah. Uh, well, Alex... Practice your breathing, you know, as you're going out the studio. Deep breaths until next week. And I reckon you'll be able to do 10 minutes, actually. 10 minutes, there we go. <laughs> There's you, the just don't want, you just don't want me to talk during the show. You just want to talk the whole time. <laughs> I would have my way with my uh, thing that I'm bringing next week, I suppose. Alex, it's been great as ever. Have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you next Friday. Stay safe. I will do. Here is some BTS. Life goes on.